Hello, welcome to that Double D team. I'm D. I'm Digger. This is our season one review for Mayans MC. I'm sure fans, Sons of Anarchy, know all about it. Prequel, uh, sequel story to that um, carrying on, although we're not continuing with the, the Teller family anymore. We're now with uh, Easy Reyes. The show, obviously, as you know, produced by Kurt Sutter, but he's brought along Elgin James because he's got history in the Mayans sort of lifestyle and culture. To make it's it big. a lot more believable, which you can tell as watching the seasons, yeah. well, season, and yeah, loved it, awesome show. We're going to get into it deep at the end, delve into some juicy details. But for now, we're just introduced to the new cast characters and actors for this season. Yeah, first, <clears throat> first we got the Reyes family. Um, Ezekiel, Easy Reyes, um, played by J D Prado. He's the prospect and the main character, I'll say. Similar to Jax. Yeah. The, 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 the character we see as the viewer's eye going into the show. Yeah. yeah. Big character. I like it. Um, after that, you got his brother, older brother, Angel Reyes, uh, played by Clayton Car I can't pronounce that. Cardenas. Cardenas. I've seen him in another movie before. Mm. Big actor. He's a big e brother. Excuse um, any pronunciations of these actors' names as well at the moment. So, yeah, just loud at. You know, this is big brother. He's um also a member of the Minds Biker Gang. I think he's been in it a while now. Oh, full, fully patch member. Full, yeah. full fledged. After that, you got his father, Felipe Reyes, played by Edward James Almost. Um, that's the dad. He's a legend. Um, American Me. One of the so, greatest so movies. So much stuff, yeah. You know, is Selena. It, is it Edward James or James Edward? I was going to ask you about that. James okay. Edward. And also, you got um, their cousin, Kevin Jimenez, played by Maurice Comp. Compt, Comp 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 Yeah, he's he was also in power as oh, yeah. one of the Jimenez. F funny enough, <laughs> like yeah, he was. That's what I was thinking, aren't you? Jimenez twins, yeah. isn't it? Oh, yeah. And um, wow. he's popping up in quite a few things at the moment, so I'm sure we'll hear his name pronounced yeah. a lot more sooner or later and get that spot on going forward. But yeah, Maurice yeah. Comp Comp. Yeah, he plays a DEA agent, um, and you know biker gangs and police they go hand in hand in this in this world standard yeah. um speaking of the biker gang the club the mayans um obviously as we know from sons of anarchy we were introduced to the mayans there but that was the oakland yeah the oakland chapter. yeah which was um his president is marcus alvarez played by emilio rivera from sons of anarchy seasons he's also bishop's cousin so they're related which yeah, i wasn't really too aware watching yeah, the show there was, that, you know. yeah i don't know whether they mentioned it and i missed it but there's a relation i knew they were close how did you know how do you find out um online research for the uh, characters names before we did the show but, okay yeah, see, i didn't know that yeah. yeah so i got the bond that they had watching yeah. it that they were close to say he did like he, they'd known each other for a long time but i didn't really realize that was a familiar like bond right because i don't know when he was talking to each other he called him like i forgot what he called him but it's actually the term for cousin in Spanish, so, yeah, because yeah, we don't realise that Jimenez is their cousin as well until like a few episodes in. Exactly. No, yeah, no. but then you realise, okay, there's a lot of familial familial ties in the show. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Bishop, played by Michael Erbe, he's the president of the Santo Padre, North California Mayans chapter. Uh, he's the he's technically the Alvarez of this chapter. Yeah. Although Alvarez is like the head head head, I'm sure. He watches like over both affiliations. Yeah. He's the OG. Um, you then got Tazo, played by Raul Trujillo, and he's the vice president. Uh, Riz, played by Antonio Yadamino, as the secretary, who's actually the guy Angel fights with. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, he's the one that's doing the, the that's his, his position, isn't it? Yeah, with the, um, bringing in the, yeah. the immigrants from Mexico. You've got then Hank the Tank. Played by Frankie Delgado, he's a sergeant at arms. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Coco Cruz, played by Richard Cabadal, and he's the sharpshooter, the crazy guy. Nice tertiary character as well, to watch out for in this show. Um, yeah. Bit similar to like how Juice got a lot of screen time and storyline in Sons of Anarchy, although not yeah. being the main guy. Yeah, but some, yeah, man. Nice yeah. little juicy piece. It's not all about just focusing on 
drugs, cartel and cops. You've got to also get a bit, a bit of heartbeat yeah, as well for the character story. progression. And Coco definitely has that this season. Yeah, I think he's probably like one of, one of my favourite characters. Yeah. Under yeah. Easy, Coco's right there. Strong. Likeable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, best characters though, Angel's definitely up there. I think he has a lot to do this season when character-wise. And yeah. Uh, then yeah. you, you think finally you've got Gilly played by Vincent Vargas and he's like um, an MMA fighter fun loving type of guy in the crew so I believe Gilly Coco Angel Easy I like that side group working with mm. the Rebels yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so he's the, he's the big set guy and there's also an appearance from Chucky who you may know from Sons of Anarchy just that I can't stop beating my shit Michael Ornstein and yeah. It turns out they won him in a game of poker or a game of cards. That's explainable. So it must have been like a patch over party or a little party between the crews and they bet Chucky. Mayans won, brought him over. and I like Chucky though. He's a nice character, man. Yeah, I suppose it's also one of a familiar face from Sons to know, yeah. okay, we're in the same universe. Yeah, definitely. Um, after that, we're going towards the cartel. Um, Miguel Galindo, <laughs> played by Danny Pino. 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 He is the head of the cartel. He runs shit. Yeah. Took over from his father. From his father, so he was passed down. Yeah. So, you know, it's in the bloodline. Also, like, American Harvard educated. Oh, yeah. So, business educated. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's very, he's, very, very, he's up there. He's the new, you know, he kind of me of? Type of gangster. He remind me of the, of the leader of the ball of the Niners in Sons. Oh, it's been a while, and I need to refresh on but the films, he, man. He's just like that, but like the Mexican cartel version of him, basically. But everything's on point. But um, yeah, after that, we got Emily Thomas, played by Sarah Bulger. Mm-hmm. Bulger. Um, that's the wife of Miguel and uh, mother of Cristobal. That's their child they have together. Also, Easy's ex. Oh, yes. Which is that? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Back way back in the day, <laughs> way back in the day before he went down. Um, after that, we have Dita Galindo, which is played by oh, obviously played by um, obviously played by Ada Mar- Maris. Ada he's, Maris. Maris. Ada these Maris. names I am butchering. I am so sorry. Um, that's the mother of Miguel. Um, Definite Gemma vibes. Oh man, I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah we're not gonna discuss her much in the review because she don't pop up. She has a few scenes that maybe tease. Yeah. A possible turn or betrayal, so we've got definite Gemma vibes from our well, most look out for in season like two. A shank to the fucking throat. <laughs> um, after that, we have Devante, uh, played by Tony Plana. I'm, I'm, kidding, I'm not gonna really try. Plana. He's the um, consil- consiglia, yes, the right hand, the advisor. Yeah, you know, he's there. Um, he was also um, advisor to the father, to the father, so he's yes. carried on his role. Plus, the son felt that he could trust him. You know, like, the, yo, you can hold it down for my dad. I've, so. I've not been able to find his surname, but it's just referred to as Devante. See? Devante, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, after that, we have Nestor, played by Gino Vento. He's the head of the security for uh for Miguel's cartel, mm-hmm. and he don't play. No, he's like your gunman, isn't he? Your right-hand yeah. man. He rolls with the straps on him, so mm-hmm. if you see him, you see straps on him. Childhood friend as well from uh, Miguel. Okay. Now, we knew they had history. I didn't but know that, that was too. just because of um, we were, we thought it was Miguel was close with his older brother, right? And because his older brother died, mm. Miguel kind of took him on board. But right. apparently they've been childhood friends from day. But Miguel might have just been closer, or the cartel, or his father might have been closer with his older brother. Okay. So that's why Nesta was part of the family. But uh, yeah, he was close. Dead tight man, they're like bros. He was in the up in the family discussions. <laughs> he was there. And um, the only other two main characters this season both protagonists as well um is adelita played by carla barata and she is the leader of the rebels la soberados couldn't pronounce it yeah didn't want to risk it yeah, it's, not, it's not written down but yeah i'm sure it sounds familiar la soberados uh so she's like the main leader of this rebel group that are trying to align themselves with a few members of the cartel to go against well a few members of the club to go against the cartel because um, obviously the infrastructure in their city mm. is doomed and it's going to stay like that unless they, they something. change something. Yeah. The other character is Lincoln Potter, played by Ray McKinnon, who is a corrupt DEA agent, who was that in guy. Sons of Anarchy. Now, that guy creeped me the fuck out. I know he was based in Sons of Anarchy and he looks familiar, but I can't remember too much of him being oh. there. I know he was involved with the IRA I remember. Deal. 
what did we see him? Oh, was he just referred to? No, he, he was in it. He, he was. was. He was stirring shit up. Yeah. He's the reason why Juice was. Because the, yeah, the face looked familiar yeah. when I saw him, but because it had been a while <laughs> since I'd um, gone back and went through the pain of seeing Jax go, yeah. then um, yeah, it wasn't he wanted to fresh. He was all up in the mix. Like he was fucking shit up, and yeah, it got real. Obviously, he's he the one that puts pressure on Kevin Jimenez as well to yeah. try and force Eric. That's what he does. To, yeah, that's the introduction to all the characters. Yeah, bit heavy loaded, all the names and characters, etc. But anyone who's seen the show, hopefully, it's refreshed your memories when we're talking Definitely. about these names. You'll know which characters we're referring to. So let's kick off season one, shall we? Easy, fresh out of prison, uh, joins the Mayans as a prospect. Obviously, his brother hooked him up, and he yeah. is his sponsor. Um, first bit of action: they were shoot out in some graveyard. Um, mm. It's pretty sick. See yeah. Coco as well as a statue. My bad. <laughs> really it's fun. Um, then you have to go and bury your body via the tunnels. But I think first episode as well with a shootout is also the first introduction. We see Suns making appearance. Yeah, they came through. I mean, like, oh, okay. It's definitely part of the same universe. Mm -hmm. Nice little refreshment. And the, opening episode. And the, the guy who actually was showing like as the leader in the Suns group. I've actually seen him in previous episodes of SOA. But so. obviously lower. Yeah. Risen up. Because it may... You may, I think I've seen him as well, but I don't think he was part of the original faction. No, no, he was like a next area. Yeah, but they tied it in yeah. nicely once again. And like this that. is end of the episode. I realise Easy is a informant. Oh yeah, he's snitch. He's snitch. He's working with the DEA because that was a deal he caught to get out of prison early. Because obviously any cop killer ain't gonna get out. But apparently, cut a deal to get out as long as he delivers them the cartel. Mm -hmm. And Easy's part of the deal was that him. His family and the, the club, club wouldn't be touched. Yeah. On paper, seems like a good deal oh, yeah. to take, but same time he's still snitching. Mm. You're in a biker gang. And your father's the only one that knows this. Your brother doesn't, so that's even more betrayal, which we'll get into later on. Now the rebels make their introduction in the show by stealing the cartel's drugs. Mm. Um, Galindo, furious, um, that he's been outplayed and lost money. Now we'll ask for the Mayans' help to retrieve this, find out who it is, what's going on. They obviously get the information, find out it's this group called the Rebels, what they're trying to do, but no one knows where they are or who the leader is. Mm. Until we see Angel and Coco and Gilly yeah. and Easy after he's brought into the loop that they're working with the Rebels and Adelita, the leader especially, mm. to help them because they don't like the position the club's under, the Galindo. So they think if we help the Rebels get rid of the cartel, the club's then free. And we yeah. can just get back to being what we are rather than under doing. the form of a cartel member. Um, Easy goes along with it. Obviously, it's more ammunition for him to supply the DEA, but yeah. they're happy with it for now. Angels also fall into Adelita. Um, but he arranges to sell the drugs for her. Kind of goes bad because he arranged it with, is it one of the was it Indian tribes at the casino? Yeah. But because he cut, the Indian kid cut the deal behind the back, they kill him. And that's, that's just a warning for like, yo, Angel, this could have easily been you if you tried to do deals behind the club's backs and mm. watch yourself. They then end up selling it to some NF looking army oh, yeah. SAS motherfucking yeah, they were high power. ruthless fucker. Now they sell the drugs to him, nice price, get the money, but it also comes with a warning like, don't fuck us over, don't screw this over, or we'll kill you. There's maybe something to watch out for in season they, two they, there. I'm pretty sure they mean that. Because it, it, didn't, it didn't go too much into detail with it. But. Yeah, I think that'll be more of a threat in season two. So, they yeah. just introduced season one here as a little, 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 little salt bay, a little, little sprinkling. A little salt bay. <laughs> but um, now we see Easy getting pressured by Jimenez. Like he want, um, wants him to flip Emily. So yeah, that's the best way to get that's information. That's the best way, yeah. Just flip her rather than long game. Trying, but the, but he's like, nah, he still loves her off. So he's not even going to try to attempt to do that. Not at all. Nah. And then Felipe tells Jimenez about about his past and all that. Yeah, because Felipe, because Jimenez goes to Felipe like, "Yo, can, can you talk to your son?" Let him do it. He's like, he will never flip on Eminem, and girl. that that's that's his first love. That's his bond. They lost a child together. Like you don't know the half of it. Yeah, so that's not gonna happen. And if you force this on my son, I'm gonna. Things, yeah, I'm about to do something. Because he's past. Yeah, <sighs> his past is it's gangster. He's yeah. a killer, mate. Him and a couple of other guys were literal murderers yeah. you don't want to fuck with them then he eventually got his got his son mm. got a new identity there came to america started his new life all over again but you threatened my son 
You will see that soul. Uh, I'm not turning out. back. Yeah, to the, you go see the old me. It was like the chupacabra. <laughs> you know when he said it and he showed him like the background, like the yeah. dude. He was just like, oh shit. I've been someone with the uh, the gravitas of Edward James almost delivering this threat as an old retired yo. Mm. This carried so much weight. You felt it on screen. You're like, oh, definitely. Yeah, this guy. And like a feel of that American gang, American this, meaning. This guy. Um, the rebels step up their cause then to antagonize and try and disrupt the cartel by kidnapping Cristobal. Emily's frantic. Wow. Miguel's was, at his ends. Um, it was it, a lot. This was the first time we get involvement by Dieter as well by telling Emily, like, you know, you're part of this lifestyle if, and you pretend to ignore what goes on, really. But if you want to have an involvement in it and make changes and get to hold everything, you need to be part of that lifestyle and not stand on the outsides. Whereas Dieter, through her time, she's like, no, I always stood back. I knew what happened, but I didn't want to get involved because I didn't want to be too involved. Mm. Emily's like, no, I, I need to be involved. Definitely. We need to get my kid back. Bam, I'm involved. Tell me everything. It's fine. Let's go. But she was kind of hands on at first. You know? She was. I mean, she was dominant and like positive, powerful female characters in most of the TV shows that have happened this year or that we like. Mm -hmm. They're there, like Ozark. Definitely. Um, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, like the promotion of Misty Knight and Colleen yeah. Wing and all these other shows. It's like, okay. Girl power. Mm. <laughs> Like it's Spice Girls 96 all over again. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Galindo's worried, so we asked Devante for advice. Uh, Devante's like, well, we actually did happen. This went through, well, a while ago, like 15 years ago. You saw it with your brother. It's like, no, no, my brother died from illness. It's like, no, I'm afraid that was just a lie that we fed you. He was actually kidnapped by a rival gang. Uh, they held him hostage to cut a deal. Your father didn't make the deal and they killed him. But it was the choice your father made for the for the cartel, the bigger picture. And this was like influencing I would say Galindo now to not give yeah. in to their demands yeah, definitely and come not. up with his own. Try and he has he does hatch a plan, but Nestor kills a nun, leaves him in a church as a message for the rebels. That was cold. Cold, but that was cold. Not the, a little sign on the bitch like not the most deft or Slag. tactful way of doing things, mm. which Galindo would have done. Yeah. Um in this church couple full as well. Emily goes in to see what's going on and all the people are running out and she gets trampled over and beaten That's up. That's why I mean she was holding down for a little bit because she went onto the battlefield and she seen it got real. Mm. It got real, real. And I think she was already involved at this point, but yeah, this was Galindo making a decision against the rebels' demands to try yeah. and get the son back. So he, he literally put his son's life at risk for the cartel. Yeah. And it didn't cost him because his plan almost worked, but it wasn't working good enough. And... This is when Emily starts becoming a bit more involved. Now yeah, she gets plan. more hands on. Now she arranged to put the kids on the streets. That's like, that was her whole idea. Because Adelita's group of children are like... All kids. Yeah, homeless kids from the favelas that have the most, that have lost the most from the influence of the cartel and the drugs in the, in the city. Come on in. And she's just giving them food, shelter, um, a cause, yeah. and stuff like that. And yeah. That's what you need when you, when you, when you think about it. Or going around with little like rabbit masks on and knives, and all of a yeah. sudden, yo, you're just surrounded by about 19 kids from the favelas. Yo, you seen City of God? You know, man, you know. Yeah, you know, any child with a gun in their hand, be wary. Dangerous. You know? Um, now they meet to go get Crystal Ball back. What was it? Like, um, they set up. Galindo goes to pick up his son, and it's like. Because then um, the kids on the street weren't doing too much apart from one kid who told them a location. By the time they got to that location, the camp had gone they because moved on. Adelita had already kind of figured out what's what's been going on and tells the kid, like, you've been using us. And then the little kid that he's been getting friendly with, the female one, the one we know as Little Rabbit, just then pushes him off the roof. Just Cold so as anything, man. Like she was crying. She was like, I liked you. We could have been friends. friends. <laughs> he just fell straight off. And... Wow. The, these little rabbits that she's got for her. Cold. Real riders. Mm. I couldn't even actually believe it. But, um... Yeah, that was that was that was not that was not a good look. <laughs> that was not a good look. Um, the DA bus Galindo. Um, they try to force a deal on him. Mm. Well, after the deal, they they go to meet to get Cristobal back in it. Yeah. But he picks up Cristobal and they have as him. he's coming back through customs. And he's some holding himself about. Yeah, because he he find drugs in the blanket, not his blanket, the blanket the baby was left in. So it's a setup by Adelita. Set yeah. He's held in the holding cell. Cop brings Adelita through. She cuts a deal. Before she cuts a deal with him, she shows him 
you know, power. Mm. Get the computer out. These are three of your locations. Boom, boom, boom. Blown up, blown up, blown up. He's like, that's nothing, man. It's just a shekel on my operation, man. I'm everywhere. And what? she opens up a new screen for like 15 like, mini screens on it. Yeah. He's like, just one phone call. Yeah, his tone just changed and it's up. One phone call and it's fanost, literally. Yeah. And so Galindo's like, humbled. I like, no, to be fair, I like him in this scene because he doesn't give anything away. He doesn't mm. agree. He doesn't back down. He yeah. doesn't get scared. He doesn't react. He just remains calm until all the information is presented to him. Mm. Which I liked about this type of nuevo gangster, mm, new trust. boss, and I appreciated the subtlety in his performance here. He was a man. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, then Adelita gives him Crystal Ball, they're allowed to go, and that's when the problem. DEA bust in, yeah. Yeah, that's some fucking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fucked. Jimenez is fucked. Yeah, because they, well, Jimenez is fucked because the DEA now have forced Galindo into a deal like they did with his father back in the day, yeah. where you've got to carry on doing what you're doing. But under our, under our influence and influence, yeah. yeah, we'll allow you to do what you want here and there. Kind of Sicario ish, but not yeah. to the yeah, extent. Still. But it's still on. So this is the manager's fucked because his deal with Easy now is pretty much thrown out the window. Easy could literally be given up as evidence. Mm-hmm. And Potter almost does when he gives Emily the transcripts in it. Yeah. And he says, Oh, beautiful mind. And she clocks straight away because Easy's obviously got his uh, photographic memory and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, yo. It, it's, it's too much. It's, it's deep, man. Um, While this has been going on, no Bishop has been thinking Coco's the leak because um, we've had the leader in it, the lady, because we've been seeing getting off and chatting to girls. Chatting to a girl, yeah. With Chucky's information. Turns out it's just a dad yeah. to um, a, a girl, a baby that he thought he either. The mom was on drugs. That the mum either got rid of, like with an abortion. Or was adopted because he he wasn't aware that the, the kid was around. He then gets told, um, has a connection to her. It's all going well. Marduk's don't like it because he thinks she wants to mm. get the kid on the street and work for her because what she's been doing all that. It gets complicated. The the kid though, Dieter, no. Oh, that's that's oh. my mum's. I can't remember what she's name. No, sexy little young thing. She <laughs> she um then. <laughs> Smacks herself on the head in it and yeah. goes crying to Coco saying the Mardukes did it. Yeah. Coco goes oh. round in a fit of rage. Yeah. Kills his Mardukes in the bath. Yeah. Helps gets easy to go and dismiss the body. Yeah. That was... Whilst they're doing it, he has to throw in the body in the back of the car, break a tail light, get pulled over. By one of the boy cops that they know, but his, his partner's like, now nah, we've got to go through the routine. He's like, no, don't worry about it, lads. As soon as we're off the dash cam, I'll let you go. Mm. Pop the trunk now and see your body. Nah, you ain't going nowhere, lads. <laughs> Straight to jail. And this is where Potter comes and cuts in the deal. Like, I, I can let you out, guys. Bro- brothers Hermanos. Mm. And then, um, but I'm going to need a favour from you at some point. And they're like, okay. You don't want to be in his pocket. No. no. But for now, you don't. That's live. And then this is where um, the meeting at the casino oh, again so, happens. Yeah. And you have all the cartel and the club. And it's about to be a new setup and restructure. And Devante is about to sit next to Alvarez and Galindo and Galindo's like sit across from me please this isn't your seat no more mm. and Galindo like a boss just breaks it down about what's been happening and how he got caught by the DEA and how he's got a deal with him mm. but he's not going to use that deal he's got his own deal with this lady and then Adelita's brought into the room she sits down in Devante's position when that happens like if you see the look on his face not just his the mom's angel Angel's thinking, oh, yeah. shit, yeah. I am fucked. Yeah. Like, whoa, yeah. what's going on here? But it, it was, all works out yeah, because was, the deal pressure. they've cut with, she doesn't, she never gives up Angel. Angel gets what he wants, really, because mm-hmm. their minds are now kind of not working for the cartel. Mm. They kind of are, but they're more working above the cartel. In a way, yeah. Because they oversee it all to make sure both sides behave. Yeah. So technically they're... So it's better for them. Obviously, Angel gets promoted to secretary. Big boy position. After his fight with the former secretary, yeah. so it was nice how once he beat him up on the beef, he just gets promoted to his ranking. Um, but the new setup means it was looking good, man. But the van is salty. Yeah, of course. Gone, and um, of course. yeah, this is where Galindo now gets rid. Oh. in a well, ball of play, man. Well, Galindo gets rid of a Devante. It's the whole story of how um, he gives. Alright, bring it down, bring it down. 
back in the day, <laughs> Devontae was the right hand to Miguel's father. And did some real bad shit. He did some gangster shit. Now remember when we told you about Felipe's past and him and a couple of guys used to do some real bad gangster shit. shit? Well, Felipe escaped. Yeah. His boy escaped. Oh no, his Prince. boy was about to escape but got betrayed by the third member. By the third one, yeah. Now this third member goes on to become a bishop. And that's who Galindo gives Adelita to in the end. Because yeah. this bishop gave up her father's location. Yeah. Because out of the trio, you had Felipe, the bishop, and Adelita's father. Yeah. Felipe survived, the bishop survived, Adelita's father was murdered and head chopped off. So Adelita wants revenge on the person that did that. Yeah. And the person that did that was the Galindo cartel. So yeah. why she's after the cartel. It just makes comes together like a puzzle, doesn't it? However, with Miguel being in the cartel, mm. he's privy to some very specific information. Of course he is. What you break that down for? Devante, as like a young up and coming lieutenant, wanting the way he breaks it down to him as well in this, like it was, oh, oh, descriptions. It was, yeah, it was nice, it was nice. Yes, he tried to impress, so he got word off a bishop about where this guy was and then killed him in the most brutal way. Yeah, so with the bishop being set up for like pornogra pornography on his, on his computer and then being hung by Adelita's group, that's some revenge that's yeah. a peace offering from galindo to adelita yeah to like let, we can work together we can both trust each other now that's right because devante's like you can't work with this woman yeah. you can't trust each other mm. he's like we have to earn the trust and by doing that we then can of and course. he earns the trust by giving adelita devante the man that chopped her father's head off now when he goes to the boot of his car and you open up and you see the machete. I'm thinking, this ain't no random machete. No. This is the actual one Devante used to chop off yeah. the head of your father. It, it has some age to it. It's now been given to you to exact revenge and eye for an eye. If trust has not been built in this one action, I don't, what know, I don't know what else, now, what he could do. This ain't checkers, mate. This ain't drafts. This is chess on a three-dimensional moving fucking board. Middle ones with the boards just there, in it. Come on, man. What a baller move from Galindo. Come on, man. That play. He even says to him, like, Come how on. how would you advise me? What would your counsel have been? Mm. And Devante knows he would counsel you the exact same way because that was of fucking boss. A boss move. And he, he has to accept he's about to die. And you see Adelita come back with a bloody blade, hand it off to one of Galindo's guys, and then get escorted in the car. Okay, yeah. one, badass. Two, she's now respected and in charge of a lot of Galindo's people. And she's in power by being put in the car and driven. All that in, in that one scene was built up so like it was shot perfectly. That's nice. Yeah. Then you flip back. I'm pretty sure they showed I'm pretty sure they showed Devante's head on the ground, so but it's head like my wild man. Ooh, that'd have been sick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I caught a little glimpse of that, but yeah. Because <laughs> Dieter asked as well the next day, like, where where's Devante? Mm. That it's over, it's done with. Because the main reason he decided to give up Devante is because he found out he was played by him and tricked and lied to. Now, earlier on, you mentioned how he told Miguel the truth about his, his brother, brother not yeah. dying from illness, but by the cartel killing him in exchange. That's cold. That was a lie. <sighs> Miguel, after the FBI, well, the EA raid on his house, mm. finds some old medical records that were oh. hidden away, looks at him. Finds out his brother did die of an illness, pneumonia. Mm. And Devante lied to him, so putting he his lied son to my face and put the risk of my life son at for risk. the cartel. Yeah, oh. not even your cartel, mate. You, exactly. You're an advisor, a side bit, mate. Plus, I'm pretty sure you're dicking his Marduk son. I'm side. pretty sure you, he was. Because they always sat close to each other. Because she was upset eye when, when you said Devante's gone. His Marduk was, yeah. She grabbed the tissue and. She, she showed more emotion in that scene than when she found out her grandson was kidnapped. Gemma vibes. Man. Yeah. But you say but you say Gemma would ride up she'll ride up ride for, a die for, for, a for, for, for a yeah. grandkids. Don't get a twist. But mm. yeah. Well see that <laughs> hers is more vindiction against Emily oh, yeah. for yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, influencing yeah, yeah. Miguel more yeah. to make that decision. I that see effect. it, I see it still. Yeah. But it's gonna be interesting and intriguing oh, definitely. next season. Um Easy and Angel were obviously forced into the deal with Potter yeah. to kill he Jimenez. Kill Kev. Kill cousin. the cousin cousin Kev. First cousin. Now, obviously, the pops didn't want Angel to, uh, Easy to do it, 
because yeah. it's another kill that you don't want him to do because obviously his first killing put him in prison and you don't mm-hmm. want that on the golden boy. Angel finds out obviously about the deal. Yeah. Angry, goes to his pops, Bents, or oh, he was your favourite, I'm just this guy, but don't worry, we'll protect your golden boy, mm. I'll be the one to kill him. Mm. You know, it's my life, innit? I'm I'm destined to do this. Angel's a badass though. Yeah. And the family dynamic, when they first introduced Felipe's backstory into the show, I was like, Oh, come on, focus more on the main plot for me. Mm. But as it developed, I'm like, Oh, I appreciate it and how yeah. it ties in. Yeah, and how see, everything from see episode how one like ties into the finale. Mm was so beautiful, greatly written. It was like amazing. It was it was dope. Um but now is was it now um the club? Well they they do go through and kill him and us but when they get there when Angel goes to kill him, because Angel goes on his own so yeah. easy doesn't have to. Whereas but, Easy is being pressured by Potter to do it. So yeah. Easy goes, seems Angel going into the house. So he goes around the back to protect him. Easy goes in, gets caught off guard because there's a second cop there. Yeah. Easy busts in the room. Bam, shoots the second cop, sees his cousin, hesitates in killing him because he didn't really want to do it, and then out of nowhere, boom, headshot, Angel kills him. Yeah. So one each, now you've got to get rid of two bodies. Mm. He's calling Potter for help. He's like, okay, I can make this work, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. You'll owe me a favour. It, it was exactly, when he said that, I was thinking, no. Straight, straight in the pocket, mate. Like, they did this so they can get out of your goddamn pocket. <laughs> but, you know, that's just how shit works. Pause. Cheers. Oh, cheers, Layla. Bye now. So we killed him now, yeah? Um, so we're just about to talk about the club restructuring part, yeah? Because uh, I've mentioned the secretary. We've um, still mentioned the story. Yeah, we mentioned killing him and his. Boom. Um, on pause. Um, club restructure because after yeah. all this has gone down and the club have had this new deal with Galindo now about how it's going to be run the cartel are going to still sell weapons and drugs overseas by the DEA but they've also got a second deal now to sell other drugs and deals via the Sons of Anarchy and yeah. the Mayans cartel via the IRA again with the Irish connection yeah. which they'll be doing under shadowy information so they're still doing their stuff without the DEA knowing and the DEA thinking they're running shit I'm running shit no. very smart play the Mayans are now out of this business of being the cartel's gunners yeah. they got money incoming with this new drug uh, gun deal with yeah. the sons and they're now being given influence and power to make sure both sides of the, of the rebels the sons and the cartel we're supposed to be doing really good man really good so they have a big party yeah uh, and the sons come over, and you're like, yo, the sons of Anarchy, you hear, man? Couple of characters you've seen before. See, man, like, Happy turn up, you're like, yo, gangster. Happy's a gangster, because in real life, yeah. Happy was he would live a ride or die lifestyle, that guy, yeah, innit, before he became like, an life. actor in the show. So it's good to see Happy, and you also see Happy's prospect. Yeah. And you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. or a prospect, you yeah. don't know whose prospect son, it was at the time. Prospect, yeah. um, easy and Angel, confrontation. Right, we've done the killing, but right, you need to leave, man. You need to yeah. get re- out of the, out of the club, leave the state, and just get out of my life. He's just like, nah, man. Ever since I come out of pen, it's been all for you, all for the club, all for dad, and I, I need to just focus on me, man. This this patch, this club right here, means more than just me. Mm-hmm. It means everything. So now I'm gonna stick with it. Definitely. Because he was supposed to go in and tell Bishop that he was hanging up his vest, but he don't. He just tells Bishop now nah, this this blood on blood sponsorship ain't working, man. I need a new sponsor. Bishop's his new sponsor, yeah. which is a nice. I like that for a prospect of the main, the president as your sponsor. It's it means good. he likes you. Plus, a lot of the decisions that Bishop made throughout the season, he may not have liked, but they're all for the benefit of the club. Mm-hmm. Everything he does is for the benefit of the club, rather than individualism. Yeah. Uh, even when like Easy got off in it and got the cops away, you know, yeah. from the gang when they were pulled over, and everyone's like, "Oh, Easy, that was well done." Bishop slaps him down, man. Yeah. Dangerous, reckless individual, I'm like. Oh, I, I thought you were going to give him a hug or something, but yeah. I put him in his place and told him, like, this is, um... Even though Easy had to, be, he had to do it. He had to. But... I like, I respect the bishop for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is where Alvarez also hangs up his patch. Mm. 
and leaves and you, you don't actually see the conversation but you just see him leave the jacket there and the emotion on Bishop's face after being told mm. he's losing one of his main advisors and his family walk, friend walk to the party and like easy peeps him without his without the vest on clocks it because we thought but no one else does and then easy's got his vest on because we all thought easy was gonna leave yeah, get rid of it and yeah. get rid of his cut so when you see him in the party with his cut on you're like whoa and the alvarez hasn't mm. like that's a nice picture of that appreciated it um Obviously, Easy and Angel had their little bust up, but that was broken up by the Sons of Anarchy prospect comes over. Hey man, you, you got any buds or high knees for my uh, my guy? Yeah, you don't want to drink any of this shit. So like, yeah, I can sort you out. I can do. Who, who's your um? Who's your pledge? Oh, him over there. And as he does it, Easy has his flashback to episode one, where you have the first flashback about his him turning up at the shop to see his mum's dead body, mm. and then what he's witnessing the car go by. With like a, a tag, school, yeah. a tag on the back of the car, yeah. which he then clocks at a later date, and then he gets a gun off his brother Angel to go and get yeah. vengeance. And Angel's warning like, "This ain't how it is, man. This is you know what I'm saying. This ain't the life for you, etc." Yeah. He then finds the guy, crashes into him, chases after him, gets caught by a cop, turns around, shoots him. That's where, he, that's where he caught the the, the the body. The life sentence runs, chases after scenes we've never seen since episode yeah. one because we thought the flashback ended there. And he's chasing after the guy that shot him, gets caught by a fence, so he can't go after him. He's like, hey, you. Then the guy that kills his mum and set all this play, all this into play. Him going to jail, him killing oh, the cop, yeah. him being a DEA agent snitch, turns around and it's a face we know. It's happy. I got a little chill when I said that shit again, man. Fucking hell. And that was bad. Pause the dramatic effect. <laughs> I'm like, Wow, when I seen this, I was like happy man. I was like, when I seen the finale, like yo, you watched the finale yet? I know, yeah. It's, it's good, man. It's good because even when we watched it together, I, I didn't know. want to give away too much because that moment when it gets revealed to you as an SOA fan, Happy's like your boy, and he's That's a like ride on from guy from old school, goddamn it. And then to find out he was the one that killed Easy's parents, it's like whoa. He's, he, the, he's, re- he's, he's the reason Easy's he's in, in the goddamn. Because they've done a really good way of writing Easy this season. Because if you're torn about who to root for, mm. then they've wrote Easy perfect. For you to almost sided Easy over Happy mm. after knowing seven seasons of Happy to one season of Easy. Mm. Well done, made yeah. it very likable, very relatable. Nice one, Kurt. I'm thinking, yo, that's the end of the season. Season one, bam, that's the way you do and a like, finale. He looked at Happy. And a cliffhanger. And Happy looked at him. The happy done put in so much work. He didn't know. He don't. He don't have that beautiful mind. You know? And like he was just that thinking like, has. why is this guy looking at me? Fucking prospect, you know? Like, Deep. That shit hit me, man. I was like, that's oh. how you do that's how you end the premiere season. That's how you end the season with a finale. That's yeah. that, that's, that's how you that's, that's, a, that's how you're supposed to end shit. Yeah. Fucking up. Well done, man. Double salutes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So Galindo, next season. Um, what's gonna crack? I hope he's. I hope he doesn't die. No, I think he's gonna stay on. Yeah. I think having Alvarez with him as well will make him a lot more smart, yeah. potent, yeah. and less capable of being caught because they'll know a lot more tricks and be advised to be a lot less hot-headed. Mm-hmm. I think internal things will be his Marduk's maybe trying to go he's against Emily. Yeah, or maybe safer. yeah, maybe set things up for Emily to look bad. I mm. heard Emily makes a decision. Galindo uses it. She sabotages it. Yeah. So that's the in-house drama, along with Nesta, because Nesta gets a demotion by Galindo after this restructure, because mm. of the way he handled the nun situation, saying it wasn't the way I just done tasteful. it. Because this is where he comes up with the, I'm playing three-dimensional chess, in a, mm. and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a line from Galindo, and I'm just a little hesitant of your your caution, your moves may may cost mm. me in the, in the future. And like, that's a boss move that. Yeah, work your way back up, man. Now, will Nesta feel salty and against him and maybe want to get retribution or will he accept it? I hope he accepts grow? it. I hope so, because Nesta is a ride or die. It seems smart. Anyone who's a ride or die from day one, you always want him to stay that way. You don't yeah. like those type of people to turn and snitch because then it goes against what you thought he originally was. Yeah. So, but I think that's going to be the main in house trouble for Galindo. Possibly, maybe. Em, worrying about Emily cheating on him mm. with Easy, mm. 
Although I don't need that story to be retold. Because you remember he just, he told Easy's he's like, yo. Stay away from my wife one more time together. <sighs> mm. But and I think having their history together is all you need for them to be yeah. characters on the show. You don't need to hint that they might get back together. I hope they don't. I, I Yeah, I hope they don't. It's no. not needed at all. It's not a typical soap. So no, don't, don't, don't go that way for me, please. Please no. Speaking of Easy, he's got this massive decision now because we've we've had multiple conversations about this okay. before the recording so so and break it's... it down he just found out that this guy a, a well-known member in the in the in the club's ally group killed your killed mom. his mom what are you gonna do run over the bus's head obviously but now you got to think you're a prospect you're not even a full fled you're, member you're yet. not going to be allowed to do that at least eight to nine a, months as a prospect not only that, but the new deal that's been set up between the Suns, the Mayans and the cartel mm -hmm. could be put at risk if you can go and kill one of their longest mem servers, mm -hmm. serving members. Yeah. So if you go to Bishop and tell him this information. Who just now became your sponsor. Yeah, forget easy. Let's put yourself in Bishop's position now. Mm -hmm. You've just been your president, your prospect that you've just sponsored comes to you with this with uh, information that a member of the Suns killed him on. You no longer have Alvarez for your support as your Presidente. Mm -hmm. You've got to make this decision now after your club have just made its biggest arrangement with the cartel and the Suns ever. Ever. Perfect. And this could be put at risk if you allow him to kill him. So you're going to say no. But by saying no, that's not only going to accept easy your prospect and have someone maybe in your crew that could be hot-headed and react. But this may upset your new promoted secretary, his brother Angel. It's his mama too, you know. It's his, exactly. <laughs> now, yeah. me, I wouldn't even tell Bishop. I'll go straight to Angel. Like, bro, guess what? I'd be like, pops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, son. You know the photos from your past. <laughs> Let's yeah, go, son. You need to re up that because I can't. Mm. Angel can't. You can. Now, if Kevin Jimenez is still around, that would have been the perfect one for next season. Mm. After Pops and Jimenez go and take him out, and then arrest and then kill him in prison, mm. well, Jimenez is gone. As a fan, I don't want to see. I don't want to see easy, go, We want to see revenge, but it's not going to happen because for a good season and a good story to be told and to keep you on tenterhooks, they're going to hold off on it. How I see it, I see the end of season two. Easy getting patched in. Or by at least like the, the last, second to last episode, he gets patched in. Yeah. End of season two, he'll be fully patched. And Happy will be dead. Mm. I'm, I'm back in. Mm. Now, we were thinking, if Easy brings this to Bishop, and then Bishop brings it to the Suns president. They can put him in the hiding forever. Yeah. Forever. But they could also come to a decision where, like, you know what? Chubby Zero. He's going to get deep, demembered. But. Like, you're no he, longer he, part of the sun's happy after what happened. But, 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 but. I don't think they can do shit like that. Well, they could. Oh, they, they can do it Because the sun's have also got to look at this as well, man. This is a really but, good opportunity for the sun's to start moving guns for the cartel. So it's a big deal for them. But. And do they want to. Not for happy, though. But if happy, he caught a body. Happy, but knowing that we don't know, we don't even know if Happy was even in the in the in the gang then. Knowing that Happy, knowing that someone wants to kill he wasn't, Happy, he wasn't wearing the patch when he did, did the move. So we don't know if he was actually a member then, a before member, a, a member. He was. Because of the timeline. Mm. Because it's been about five years since Jax's death, and easy has been in prison for about five years. Eight so, years. similar. Yeah. So yeah, he's fully, Happy was fully fledged and a patch member when he killed the mum. Just the man not been wearing a patch at the time. Okay, well, we just have to, just have to make sure. I'm riding, riding for you, Happy. God damn it. Well, this is where the, the turmoil comes into it because we want, we like Happy, but Happy can't get away with it. No, no, he can't. So something has to happen yeah. and that's either death or kicks out the crew. I think, it's, it's I one hope, or the I want Angel and Happy to get it in. Like to go at it. Boom, they both die. 
move move easier up the ranks a little bit. That's a big shout, but I, I don't think you can get rid of Angel, man. Especially with the way they, influ- they introduced him in season one yeah. and the storylines he set up with him and Adelita, or him and his brother, or him and his father, or him and his own little separate little, group within, yeah, the yeah, club. within the club. Yeah. He's he's a vital member of storylines to be told. So I don't think it'd be a fun moment to have yeah. that and kill him off, but I don't think you need to kill off people in this show. Um, you can have a resolution without death. But <laughs> check this motherfucker out. <laughs> in, in, in this situation, now. As you can tell from the cut, mm. Suns was amazing. Definitely. But Happy's got to go. This is the Mayan show. This isn't the Sun show no more. We're not focused on Sun's characters. Mm. It's the Mayan show. That's true. But how the Mayans progress, how they're there. So Happy's got to go. The biggest question, because, well, I think he's got to go, but that's my opinion. Mm. Whether he has to or not, I don't know. He if has to pay. <laughs> if you, you'd like to keep him around, you don't want to see him dead. Mm. I don't want to see him dead, but I think I feel it needs to to have the payoff. So it's not guaranteed, but if, I think it's very likely. Oh, he'll die. He will die. Though. And if it is, how and who? I say Angel, Anger. I, I think it's more him because, especially all this season, or, he's been saying about trying to spare Easy the I fact think of easy, killing. I think Easy might catch that body, though. That would turn him into a. To a um, imagine the second person you kill, well, he probably killed someone since then. You tell Bishop. Bishop says, fine. You kill him. Does not come back on us. I you, like you, that. You do this, you're patched in. You get caught. Two weeks in. You get caught, we're going to say you're a rogue and we'll kill you ourselves. Uh, I will tell your brother. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't <laughs> tell your angel. Yeah. Because angel won't be able to... Yeah. To keep yeah. it on the low, man, it'll be too hot headed mm-hmm. and he'll shoot him at the pie. Whereas Easy will probably follow him home. Easy will bide his time for about five, six episodes in the season, half mm-hmm. season, killing. Stalk him. Or maybe even end of the season. Mm-hmm. Maybe for one, one final meet or set up. Mm-hmm. Kill him in maybe a shootout. And then you get patched in, coincidentally, at the end of your one year suspension. Or. <laughs> season two needs to happen now. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, there's probably a few more little bits and details we could delve into, but we don't want to make yeah. this too, 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 too long. Yeah. Um, we delved into the majority of what's going to happen this season and hopefully next season, mainly with EZ, uh, not EZ, he's saying DJ EZ. EZ, and obviously his brothers, uh, well, his brother, his club, and the happy situation. The happy situation is the main one that needs to be resolved. That was like a, I would, also I, that was a the kick club, in the nuts. The man. cartel. Now, just a final cue. Do you think we'll be introduced to the IRA again? Um, I think because if this think, deal could think, go south, I think so. That just, could affect just to them. Let, just to let the the new Mayans fans know about know them. about them. Well, do you think that would be then too much then? Because you'll have well, you, you've had the rebels, well, but the please. rebels, the cartel, the Mayans, the Suns, and okay. another group. Okay, but think about it. think about how the Suns was. The Suns had all types of gangs. They had the ballers, the ballers, the but Niners. They were, they were very uh, triad. They were very secondary. Here now, cartel, club, but Mayans we, but are we all don't, primary but we don't know how the, we, don't know, we don't know how the rebels are going to play out into the, in the cartel. We don't know if they're just going to roll like the cartel. They're, they're part of the cartel now, so I'd say any storyline that they have is just one chunk. Right. And it'll be the, a, an equal chunk to easy storyline, which will be an e- equal chunk to the Mayans. Because he's part of the Mayans, but he'll have his own storyline. Mm. Same as like Galindo and Adelito will have their individual storylines, but it'll be part of the cartel. Well... What I can say, you never know, because Kurt Kurt is a, is a beast. We only got ten episodes this season, and you know how they do after the first season, they'll hopefully more, which will then allow like you 16. to maybe introduce a few more characters, experiment expand. a little bit. Um, now I don't want a love angle, especially oh, no, not with no, Emily. No, no, she's dead. But I do feel you need to introduce a female element for Easy. You see how um Be- Coco's daughter. That's that's exactly why. <laughs> Because I don't want that to play out. Because that's just creepy. If she likes him. She's on him. She's a bit young. She want to, She's like, I'll blow you. But you don't want to fucking mess with Coco. Oh, no. Coco you know, beware. Co- Coco <laughs> beware, mate. Coco beware, for real. <laughs> so that's too easy, yeah. you know, to do. <laughs> easy. Coco beware. <laughs> and it's also the easy option with Emily to get him back <sighs> with, his, with his ex. Yeah. So I hope is a... Because I don't, I can't remember what episode it was. Was it maybe the party at the horse house where they're like, 
mm. where they've been hiding you. Mm. There was one like brunette chick there that had a bit of sass on her, and I'm mm. like, you carry a bit of weight on screen. Yeah, you probably get a little more air time. Yeah, definitely. So hopefully. And you know how you know how these bikers are. I don't need to fall in love, but just give him a foot buddy or but, something. But no, you know how these bikers are. They end up wiping these holes. Yeah. So as long as he don't get with Coco's <laughs> daughter. Yeah. Stay and he don't go back to Emily. Stay yeah. With Coco, bro. Give give him a bit of a bit of V, man. I mean, he needs some TNA. Easy. He's gone through a lot this season, so. I mean, he ain't goals from power or nothing like that. But mm. goddamn. No ground and pound, but. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just just a, a little sprinkling of uh, yeah, some TNA in it, man. Some bits and boobs. Yeah. But, um, big season. Enjoyed it. Can't wait for yeah. season two. What was your biggest moment of the season? Oh, it's the happy, yeah, the happy, happy, happy one. Yeah, yeah that, the that reveal. That, that that was a kick in the nuts. Mm. I mean, episode one, seeing the suns, you're like, whoa, yeah, that's a fun moment. Mm. But like, impact wise and stuff like that. Happy. Yeah. Just seeing it, I was like, yeah. Because yeah. not just happy. Happy's in the building. For when we realise, but then it, it shows you the whole flashback. Because each, yeah. all season, you it's have a flashback. Bits. Probably a bit little, more of a flashback. Like a bit more. Six seconds. A bit more. And then it was an episode without one. Mm. So you feel like all the flashbacks have been done and you knew the yeah. whole story. No. And then right at the end, they give you all. Oh, it was so well written. Yeah, it was awesome. Can't wait for season two. Boy, Kurt's a Obviously, 2019 is going to be fucking loaded. There's so much stuff. We're going to be so busy on our channel. Going to be plenty more for you to see. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit us oh, up on Facebook, awesome. Twitter and YouTube. Holler at our boy JD as well with his YouTube channel. We're going to have a lot more videos uploaded soon. Uh, with it being the Christmas season, I'm going to try and get a video up either every day or week with our team challenges. Oh, we'll yeah. be running through our top tens on a variety of subjects such oh, as Marvel yeah. characters, DC characters, villains, stand-up, comedy films, films, TV shows, etc. All that. All the good stuff that we talk about on here. Shout out to all my partners in Geek Out there. Until next time, deuce.